Hola muchachos, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Aquí tienen el horario para hoy, martes, el 11 de abril. Homework that was due for today, guided workbook pages 137, 138. We'll review those answers together in class. You guys can check out the video here for instructions for the assignment that is due today. Uh, homework for next class, wrap up composing your autobiographical presentation. De Niño Como Eras, here are video instructions for the assignment, rubric, examples, remember to include original images, photos, pictures, drawings, do not use Google Images, do not use clip art, make it authentic. It's an autobiographical presentation about what you were like as a child. Remember that in addition to the visual component, you must include a narrative portion as well, audio, uh, which can be done as an audio or video file uh, as part of your overall presentation. So the visual can be a Google slide, PowerPoint, etc. Uh, and, and video as well, the visual component can be, of course, but you also need to include the narration, the audio. All right, daily agenda for today, or daily objectives rather. Share what we used to be like when we were younger and what toys we liked to play with. Using the imperfect tense, utilize key vocabulary to communicate interpersonally with classmates about what you were like when you were little and then begin expressing habitual events in the past by using the imperfect tense and to cover the different conjugations. Warm up today is about your family when you were little. We'll review the notes from last class about the Spanish imperfect. Go over the homework. Uh, we will go over the irregular verbs in the imperfect on page 196. Check out a grammatica video and then practice quiz at the very end. Warm up for today. De niño como era tu familia. So this is the fifth and final question of your autobiographical presentation. And as, as soon as we're done with this, you will have completed all five questions for your autobiographical presentation. De niño, de niña, ¿cómo era tu familia? What was your family like when you were younger? So there are four parts to this response. The first part is to use three adjectives that best describe your family from when you were little. De niño, mi familia era muy unida, chistosa, y activa. When I was little, my family was very close, funny, and active. And make sure that your adjectives are feminine, technically wanting to end in A because familia is a feminine singular noun. So, unida, chistosa, Activa. If you use gender neutral adjectives like grande, inteligente, paciente, those are going to end in E regardless of the gender of the noun. All right, next part. Three things that your family used to like to do when you were little. Start off your response. Mi familia le gustaba ir a la playa. Salir a comer y jugar juegos de mesa. My family used to like to go to the beach, go out to eat, and play board games. So I have three verbs here. Ir, salir, and jugar. Three activities. Three verbs that your family used to like to do when you were little. And then pick two family members and use three adjectives to describe each of them. Mi madre era cariñosa, exigente y cómica. My mom was loving, demanding, and funny. Mi padre era exitoso, ocupado y inteligente. My dad was successful, busy, and smart. So that is your warm-up for today, the fifth and final question for your autobiographical presentation. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the notes from last class. You can take a look at the daily agenda video 
for detailed guidance on the notes on the imperfect. But basically, we talked about the definition of the imperfect, how it's a tense used to describe repeated actions in the past as opposed to completed actions in the past uh, that we covered when we talked about the preterite last quarter. We looked at the AR endings for verbs in the imperfect. Talked about how they are the same endings in the yo form and the el a usted form, and that the nosotros form carries an accent mark on that first a. And then er and ir endings in the imperfect are the same, and that the yo form and the el a usted form is also the same, uh, and accents above the i for all forms in the imperfect er and ir verbs. We did guided practice, page 14, excuse me, exercise 14 on page 195. So you can take a look at the daily agenda video from last class for more guided instructions on how to go about that activity. But we're going to go ahead and take a look now at the irregular conjugations of the imperfect on page 196. And tackle the rest of the agenda, do a little bit of guided practice, and check out that Grammatica video on the imperfect. So, to page 196 we go. 196. Aquí tenemos las conjugaciones irregulares de los verbos en el imperfecto. And the good news is that there are only three. Only three verb, irregular verbs in the imperfect. And those verbs are ir, the verb to go, ser, the verb to be, and ver, the verb to watch or to see. Uh, ir is iba, ibas, iba, ibamos, and iban. Um, in the yo form and the ele usted form are identical. We have an accent mark above the i in ibamos. Uh, so keep an eye on that one. Ser is era, eras, era, eramos, and era. Ser being the verb to be, and you're actually using it uh, a lot for this project, right? To describe what your family used to be like, what family members used to be like, what your favorite subject used to be, what you used to be like. So ser in the imperfect shows up a good deal. In your project, and ver, the verb to watch, is veía, veías, veía, veíamos, and veían. Accent above the I there for all the conjugations of ver. All right, then we'll take a look at the gramática, gramactiva video. And at the very end of that video, there's going to be some guided practice for you there, where you're going to be filling in the blank with the correct form of the verb in the imperfect. Once we wrap that up, that'll be the end of the agenda, y'all, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm, yeah, that's the quiz at the end of the video, and we'll just take care of that in the notebook. Short day today because of the testing schedule. So that's all we'll be able to cover. Homework due for today, those guided workbook pages, make sure to get those submitted by the end of today and continue working on your autobiographical presentation, De Nino Como Era.